Hello and welcome to Working With Miniatures. I'm Jim and tonight we're going to be painting the Mercenary Anti-Tank Squad from the Dust 1947 War Game. We'll primarily be using Army Painter 2.0 Speed Paints and their War Paints. Let's get started. An airbrush was previously used with Vallejo primers, first with black, followed by zenithal sprays of gray and white. I then lightly dry brushed matte white before applying more matte white on edges and where I wanted light to catch the most. For the flesh, I'll only be showing the painting of one of the figures, but the steps are the same for each, albeit with different colors. As always, there'll be a spreadsheet at the end of this video showing all the colors I used and where they were used at. I started looking at my miniatures and compared them to other miniature painters that I follow on YouTube. One video from Sarastro's paintings made me realize an important mistake I've been making all along. I've been throwing highlights without any real regard to where they should be. I mean, I was trying to do general shapes and general placement, but I think my placements need a lot more work. I also tried using the Army Painter's mixing medium instead of Vallejo's glaze medium for this video, and I feel that made an improvement with the paint being smoother. I really wanted to focus on getting the flesh smoother and with decent and appropriate highlight placement. So I thinned my flesh paints more than I usually do and I applied them over to five to seven layers of glazes wherever needed. I repeated this for each highlight. Normally I rely on washes or a darker base coat to act as my shadows, but in this case I wanted to add more contrast, so I manually painted in shadows here and there in the musculature and clothing. The soft skin wash I only applied in the cleavage and nowhere else. For the coveralls, I tried burnt moss. If I painted the Incredible Hulk or an orc in the near future, this might be the base coat I'd use. I added dark tone to bring a little of the detail into the stitched in knee padding and did nothing else for shading. However, I think the next time I use this color, I'll add some shadows with Crypt Wraith or Venom Worm. I think I'll also add an additional brighter highlight, sparingly. Maybe Gorgon Hide. I wanted the shorts to look like cut off blue jeans, so I tried Tidal Wave, which is a rich blue that almost already gives the impression of denim. Denim is naturally lighter where there's any wear and tear or frays, so I add highlights with fog gray and matte white. As with most of the other items painted in this video, I add a final tint of Tidal Wave, but in this case, only as shadows. By tint, I mean I thin it down to a glaze and to where it no longer acts as a speed paint. 
For the hair, I just applied Ancient Honey, followed by a light highlight of Arid Earth, and then retint it back down with Thin to Ancient Honey. I think if the first highlight was done with a mix of Moon Dust and Arid Earth, that might have been beneficial. For an unrelated note, one thing I love about the Dust 1947 game is the mismatch of science fiction weaponry with era-appropriate weapons, such as the M1928 Thompson's and the M1A1 Thompson, and this, a 75mm M20 recoilless rifle mounted on an M2 tripod. I don't know most of these weapons, so it's become a minigame for me to research them and their history. This is the final result. I like how the flesh came out, but I think I may need to thin the paint just a little more than I have been. There are a few pretty bad areas where I missed mold lines, and those eyes, they're pretty awful. I think on miniatures where the eyes are this small, I should consider painting them before anything else. I also feel like I should have done more highlighting to the hair and clothing, especially the coveralls. All in all, I think this is a better end result than the previous Dust 1947 Mercenary unit I painted. Even small improvements are forward progress. It's going to wrap it up for today. I hope you learned something or were inspired to start or expand your own collection. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you like the content of this video and would like to see more, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm Jim with Working With Miniatures. I'm truly grateful for your time, and I bid you a final farewell. Until the next video.